What's up, guys? We're back for more draft content. Today will be Marvin Wilson, defensive tackle of the Forest State Seminoles. Let's go into what he is specifically. He's had some injury concerns. 2019 went out with a hand injury. 2020 took the rest of the year off because of a leg injury. But what is he? A big boy. 6'5". They list him at 305. I'm going to say he's a little bit bigger than that. We're going to go over that in the tape. This guy is a potential first-round pick, possibly second or later, based on those injury concerns. But plus, what do you see from him initially? Yeah, I mean, Marvin is just, he's got that, you know, quick first step. I mean, aggressive hands, as you see, they're violent, can get after the quarterback. And, I mean, he he's a really good player. I think, again, like you said, he's his draft stock is going to take some hits just because of the, you know, not superb numbers as far as size. I mean, look at this sack that he's going to get. How, how much time he's going through this where he's leveraging guys, spinning. I mean, 6'5", 320 or something like that. Getting through that, he's he's probably gas after this play. So what do you like from this one? Yeah, like you said, just the effort, the the motor, all the tools that you want from, you know, like you said, uh, either playing three tech or nose tech. <laughs> he can he can play multiple positions along the line. Here he he dominates Makai Becton, who was a first round pick last year. Just nice tug and pull here, as you're gonna see. Just, just bodies power. him up. Yeah. Let's be honest, just power. I mean, Makai Becton's massive. No one's gonna ever miss him in a room. And he just tosses him aside, gets after it, and then the running back, poor running back, gets exploded. <laughs> but, I mean, this is going against an elite-level tackle. And Kai Becton, I mean, that's that's nasty. Break it down a little bit more because you just need to know how big this is. Yeah, it's gigantic. I mean, you're taking on a massive man there, and just he's just showing his strength there. So really strong hands, just being able to pull him then find the balance to get back up and make an impact on the play. As you see here, the, like you said, the running back didn't see this coming and right into the quarterback. <laughs> so again, just he's involved in a lot of plays. Yeah. So Marvin, I mean, and people forget this guy had over 80 tackles combined from 2018 to 2019. And I mean, you can see him here again, just finding ways to get after the football, relentless effort, you know, reading the play, not going with the fake, and then getting a hit on the quarterback. So this guy does a lot of things to affect plays um, when he's out there, and that's what you want. I mean, just man manhandling this tight end. I mean, just hand in the chest. I'm going to get after the quarterback. One arm, push you out of the way, get a hit on the quarterback. But great throw. You can't help that. <laughs> you can only do what he can do. Again, I don't like how in 2020 they use him on the outside. They're using him in here as a stunt. Loved it. I mean, look at this big boy get his motor on, getting around on the stunt. I mean, beautiful thing. What do you like? Uh, like you said, yeah, just really good. I mean, closing speed. He's got really good downhill ability, as you can see, able to move side to side as well. And then just come around the corner and, and affect the play um, in some variety. So really like his, his versatility. And for a big man to have this much mobility, I mean, look at this. He's leaning all the way in. I mean, Big guys usually fall. They don't have this much of a turn. <laughs> it's usually a long, long stride, but he's got it. For this big of a guy, quick area burst. I really like it. Very physical hands. Things you want to see in your nose tackle, defensive tackle, especially a 3-4 system like the Buccaneers run. I mean, look at this. Violent hands all over the place. Give me a little bit more. Uh, you said it. I mean, violent hands. I mean, this is how he wins. Um, I mean, you like to see maybe a little bit more bend, but he is a big guy. I mean, he's 6'5". Six, six, um, you know, over 300 pounds and his ability to, you know, move like this and then get, you know, downhill and, and affect the play, you know, it just shows his uh, true athleticism. And I mean, he, he's got really special ability if he can put it all together. And effort. I mean, look at this effort right here. They play him on the edge. He runs this play down. Man, that's, that's incredible for a guy his size. I mean, this it's reading the play, being aware of where the play is at and then making the play. Insane. What do you like? Yeah, th this is a you know drill we see at the combine. I mean, you can just see his eyes. His eyes are following the play at the very beginning. He's able to read it and diagnose it correctly. Um, so he gets a nice start here, and, and this is just great to see. I mean, he runs this thing down, makes it. Yeah. So you hope he falls based off of a Buccaneer fan, but overall, this guy doesn't deserve to fall. I mean, because he's he's got size, he's got effort, he's got strength, big time, and against a run, I think. For sure, he's a, a top elite defensive tackle against the run. It's just a pass rush, which everyone loves to see and call out as the high-value picks. But in my opinion, this dude can, can do just about everything you want him to do on the football field.
Yeah, absolutely. And, and you got to remember that, I mean, the talent around him was very poor. I mean, this is a bad FSU team and, you know, he is one of the bright spots. He was a team captain this past year. So he's a good leader. He's got, you know, good head on his shoulders. He wants to be successful. Um, again, like you said, his ability to, to, you know, set, set his guys up and, and get in the backfield, make plays, disengage from blockers is really impressive. So especially in a weak defensive tackle class, he should be able to be one of the top guys selected out of that group. Yeah, like you were saying, disengaging, uh, occupying people, double teams are no match. He's going to anchor down with that back foot, make sure he can see where the play is going, disengage, attack the ball carrier. Again, I can't express, he's one of my favorite players in this draft. I mean, the way he can use his leverage, strength, all the above. Look at this. How many? You can't even see him right now in the play, but he's going to make the play. Disengage, wrap up. I mean, I just like him a lot. What do you What do you see? Yeah, I mean, he's just just got it. I mean, he's got he's got the he's got the tool set that you that you want from a big guy, um, especially in a scheme like the the Bucks run. He would be a perfect fit next to Vita Vea. You know, being able to take on double teams, being able to occupy space it would make everything easier for our edge rushers as you see here here's the reverse angle and his ability just to win there up front um, here again just disengaging identifying where the ball carrier is going so he's got a lot of good things to work with um, you know it's just hopefully you know the injury stuff can stay away going forward um, and he can continue to develop as a as a defensive tackle absolutely size got it strength got it System, I think it's all going to depend on what system he goes to. I mean, you you know that no 4-3 team that wants a quick three technique is going to look for this guy. But these 3-4 nose tackle wanting guys, teams, Baltimore Ravens, Buccaneers, even the Steelers. I mean, it's, this is just a type of guy that fits their mold of defensive tackle. But other than that, guys, if you like this player breakdown, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. With that said, until the next one.